Hi guys, welcome to Terry from TH Tree Services. Today we're going to do a blog about the Husqvarna T536LI XP top handle chainsaw. I've been asked by a few other tree feller friends to do a review on the saw because you know they're all still using petrol but they're interested um, in the idea of the uh, battery saws but not quite uh, convinced just yet. So I'm going to do a blog here and show my findings of two months uh, solid use. Uh, the first thing that um, I'd suggest to anyone uh, in the professional sector is don't bother with the 3 amp batteries, it's a waste of time. Get yourself your 4.2 amp batteries. Um, you really want two of these bad boys so you can cycle one on the charger while you're using the other. Um, that way you're going to get continuous play and exactly as Husqvarna say, you really do get continuous play. Um, so far in the two months that I've used a saw, um, you know, I've not run out of battery uh, at any point. Uh, as soon as I um, drain the first battery, the second one's already fully charged, and so far it's been completely perfect, spot on. Um, so you do get seamless use. Some people get worried, oh, the battery's going to run out, it's not going to last long, and they're going to be left with uh, a dead saw. Uh, not the case. I can tell you now, 100%, um, this saw will last as quick or as long as it takes to charge the next battery. Um, now, it, you know, if you if you fell in stuff, the full length of the guy bar, you know, I think you're probably going to knock it out slightly quicker than the battery can charge. But so far, I haven't had that problem, um, so I can only go by what I know. But this really is a pruning saw. Um, you know, it will it will take down um, wood diameters the size of the guy bar, and it will do it no problem. It just it will drain the battery quicker. So um, where I found this saw really shines is in the pruning. Um, anything up to six inches. For me, this is the number one top handle saw to use. Um, and I don't say that lightly. The battery, uh, when you're pruning, I can get an entire job done on one battery. You know, a medium, light to medium sized pruning job I can get on one battery. Big pruning job, you know, an all day, two batteries, um, and you, you know, you've done a big reduction. You, it's brilliant, you can't really complain. I'll quickly show you, um, you know, how to use a saw. You get your battery, charge it up on the charger, the QC 330, 330 watt. Don't bother with the cheap charger, go for the proper full power one. Um, with batteries, you need to you need to spend top dollar and you need the best of the best. Don't bother getting the cheaper, lower amps, uh, slower charger. It's just not worth it, I wouldn't bother. All you've got to do is start this. Bingo, there you go, it's started. No more pulling, you know, you, you know what it's like when you get a saw that just won't start. It's, you want to throw that thing straight out of the tree and hope it blows up. Um, there's nothing worse than a saw that don't start. Well, that problem's completely gone now with this. Chain brakes on, light flashes, disengage, uh, economy mode, 15 meters a second chain speed. Perfect for everything that we need. When you're going through something above six inches, turn off economy mode, you've got full power, 20 meters a second. Turn it off, just hold the button. It's that simple. I mean, that is proper simple. The uh, only thing that we've noticed with this sort is you have to be careful not to catch one of the uh, the battery clips because if you do, say you clip it and just only one clips in like that, so you notice that one's not there, it can clip out because what could happen is you can catch that clip, boom, that battery's going to fall from whatever height and you're going to wipe the battery out. And these are around about, I think they're 160 plus fat, something like that. So let's say there's just shy of 200 pound. That is not something you want to drop out the tree. Um, unfortunately, it is expensive. You need two batteries. You're looking at, you know, three and a half hundred to four hundred quid for two batteries, which is why it puts a lot of people off. Um, but I can honestly say the benefits of using this saw far outweigh the cost. Um, hence the reason that I actually bit the bullet and got them. And I'm really glad that I did. It's really light. I find it a lot lighter than the other saws. I don't know whether that's psychological or whether it actually is. Um, one thing I absolutely love about this saw is there's no vibrations or there's very little vibrations. So little that you don't get the hand arm vibration problems that the uh, petrol saws will give you. Um, so I can use this saw for six hours a day um, and, I, and my hands will fine afterwards. And for me, that is, that's number one. Um, also, low noise. It produces such little noise that you can use it without the earmuffs. Though I do use the earmuffs because the noise is a little bit, uh, it's not the nicest noise in the world. Um, but sometimes, you know, I sort of switch on and off. Sometimes I'll use the muff, sometimes I won't. Just depends. Um, everything else on a saw, 
it's um, so far it's, it's hard wearing I can drag it through the tree no problems I've experienced no cracks no fractures no nothing no leakages from the oil tank uh, no breakages on the handles so for me um, it's actually a really sturdy bit of kit uh, the chain on it you have a the chains on these are a slightly thinner profile than on the uh, petrol ones, so you get a smaller cut. Um, on a bigger saw, that could be a problem because sometimes if you get a slight bend in the bar, you know it's not going to cut through very well. But on the little bars, like the 14 inch, sub 14 inch bars, a thinner profile seems to work really well. It actually, obviously, it helps um, reduce the amount of wood that the actual chain has to cut. Which for a petrol saw, you know, you're going to need to do that. I can understand why they've done that. It makes sense. Um, versus a petrol saw all day long I, I think it's far better I, you know I, I was skeptical I thought the power was not going to be quite good but you know I was kind of like oh, it's a bit of a gimmick you know I'll give it a go since I bought it I've realized no, they're not a toy they're not a gimmick they are a proper professional tool um, but like I've said this it's a pruning saw this is definitely a pruning saw um, I, I mean I use it for takedowns uh, but for a big takedown you know once you start sort of getting down to six inch plus diameter you, you need to switch over to your to your petrol top handles but to be fair once you get there you might as well get onto your rear handles anyway um and they do a rear handle version of this which we have um and i think that's brilliant as well it's the uh, 536 lixp without the t on it um again i think it's exactly the same engine but for some reason it just feels a bit more powerful it must be because the rear handle uh, helps you dig through the wood a bit better but um again really lovely saw when you know when you when you're doing chipping, there's nothing worse than constantly putting down a saw and starting it, stopping it, starting it, stopping it, starting it, stopping it. With these saws, you just push the button and go, and it's, it's quick, it's easy. You're not shaking your arms, you're not knocking yourself out constantly trying to start it. And you know, when you've got the heat of the day on you, the last thing you need is a saw that don't start either. This You just don't get no non-start problems from this. I've, it's never not started, and it's, there's no reason for it not to. Uh, one thing about maintenance, where well, you've got the grill here, or the you know the uh, entrance to the fan keep it clean use the air compressor blow it through it's very important because inside here um, the air comes through here and it actually blows through the battery on these vents and that helps cool it down I mean I've not felt I've not noticed it getting hot at all but you know they wouldn't have built it if you didn't need it so just keep that keep that clear um, really simple little machine Mine needs a clean, it's a bit jammed up. And that's one thing I've didn't notice is it does jam up a little bit easier than the other saws. I, when I say jam, where the chain uh, cover is, um, it just fills up a bit easier, but you just need to sort of dig it out a bit. Chain brake's perfect, stops straight away. The really great feature is um, you can't start, you can't even rev the saw uh, with the chain brake engaged, which is brilliant. Um, this is actually a 12 inch bar, so I might have said 14, I'm not sure. Uh, I might not have even mentioned it. Um, but like I say, anything up to six inches on this guy bar, or a six inch cut this will always be my first saw absolutely adore using it we also bought the um, battery version of the hedge trimmer which is i believe it's a two foot guide bar um thereabouts now uh, the battery on that actually lasts a lot longer than the chainsaws it, you'll get 80 minutes out of it and what i've actually found is um i can get i use the hedge trimmer all day long and I'll, i don't even need to recharge it i've never had to recharge it in two months and i've used it a lot um it gives a really brilliant cut um it even cuts through you know i think it cut through up to a centimeter plus and it still cuts through it okay it's not it's nothing like the um the steel hs 81r you know that thing's designed for cutting through the thicker bits but the hs 81t i think it's an e easily a rival you know if not better it is better you get no vibrations from it it's a hell of a lot lighter um you can use it without um, ear protection because it's really quiet um you know absolute pleasure to use so you know that's my review on the almost the um the, the set uh, the only thing we we would like to see um from husqvarna is um a pole trimmer version an extendable pole trimmer or just a pole trimmer and um, for the hedge trimmer attachment uh, easily done if they can do the hedge trimmer um, a pole trimmer shouldn't be no problem at all and it should last quite long even if it lasted 30 to 40 minutes that'd still be really acceptable um so overall you know as a company we're really happy using this saw um i fully recommend it it's um for all those tree surgeons out there that are thinking you know is it really up to the job quite literally it really is up to the job uh what you'd want is you'd want this you know you still want your petrol saw because it has its place neither saw neither petrol or electric you know are the cream of the crop as in they're unbeatable they they both have their pluses and their minuses um i've shown you the minuses of this saw 
no vibrations or, or little vibration little noise um, no direct fumes you know they're, they're three real big you know health and safety points when you're using these saws all day every day we all know what you can get like sometimes your arms and your hands can they can ache they can vibrate it, you know it doesn't feel good using a top handle all day long whereas this saw i've used it for two months solid and i've not got a problem i can use it for hours on end you know you all i can say is take my advice if you're really looking to get one just do it buy this we you know we ain't we ain't paid by husqvarna by any stretch of the imagination to promote this saw but I just feel that you know working in the industry a lot of tree fellows are my friends i have a lot of tree fellow friends um something that's going to protect your hands protect your arms and protect your health i feel obliged to recommend you know i could sit there and sort of not do this blog and keep this information to myself because a lot of tree surgeons are quite hesitant and right now i feel like it gives me a little advantage you know using these these pieces of equipment because they're so much better but um the nice fella in me is sharing this information for all of you guys um so you can get on and get cracking with it we'll probably do a few more reviews um of its performance but all i can say is it doesn't matter how many times you look at a saw cutting a bit of wood on the on the youtube you know unless you get that saw in your hands and start using it you're not really gonna get much value from that so my my piece of you know value to you is i'm a professional tree surgeon i've been using you know all kinds of professional machinery uh for over 10 well it's probably 12 13 years um so I, you know i'm quite versed in what's good and what's bad and in my opinion for what this saw is you know this is a battery powered chainsaw this is in my own words absolutely superb i highly recommend it my next top handle will be another one um and you know what this is husqvarna's first one and it's this good so you know once once sort of the industry gets behind this sort of technology just think how much better it's going to be in the next three to five years when they bring out the next one you know if they can bring out a high capacity battery you know maybe a five six amp battery that can last you you know probably a genuine solid 40 50 45 minutes even you know of continuous use um, and you can charge it back up within a half hour then you know you, that's it it's time to, it's a game changer you know these saws are game changers um, but as they stand right now i would say they are they are an easy equivalent to the petrol versions um i'd say on a par for their pluses and minuses i mean the only real minus is they are slightly down on power versus the petrol tools and when i say slightly i mean it is a nat's cock it is tiny um you know when you're digging through an eight inch to ten inch bit I'm not going to lie the Husqvarna petrol version will power through it a little bit quicker you know noticeably quicker if, if you like um but up to six inches this will fly past them absolutely fly past them so you know, as i've said and i'll say it again for pruning this is the saw you want to get and when you think about it once you've got the batteries you know the batteries are dear but the saw itself was about 300 quid which is an absolute bargain for a top handle saw um unbelievable bargain and when you think yeah the batteries and charger are expensive but once you've got the battery in the charger you know you can swap them out with all the other tools so they're completely interchangeable and you know it makes it well worth doing the initial outlay i think we paid you know is three for the thing one for the charger you know you're probably looking at seven eight hundred quid which when you think damn that's for a top handle that's a lot but then once you buy the, the rear handle and the hedge trimmer that becomes really economical you know you'll have a complete mini set of tools um for a great price so i think that really concludes the review i think i've covered everything on it that you need to know um anything else i can think of not really to be fair